Okay, so here we are. That took like 30 minutes plus with a 13 gig collection. Let me just say that that was uh, a little painful. So, anyways, um, guess the first thing we want to do is like we're going to double check here just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure. Yes, we are at 2.9.0. Perfect. Right? Click that, get over there. Now, let's go look for the stems. Okay, seems pretty simple. I'm going to take that and I'm going to move it to. You know what? I'm going to go into my music folder first. I'm going to make a new folder. We're going to call that, what do you guess, stems. Back to downloads. Take that. Drag it over. Hold it. Scroll down. Hold it in there. And there we go. Pop that out. Let's close that up. Let's go into my home folder. Let's go into music. Right click that. And we're going to see how easy it is to load these things because. And let's just drop it in. Okay, trying to drop up. Oh, I gotta analyze it first. Okay. Makes total sense. So what I did there, just in case you don't know, is I went shift and grab them all. Control click analyze. Let's analyze it. Really, I should just analyze the one song rather than all three. But we'll see how this goes. So keep in mind too, for anyone who doesn't know, I am using an F1 controller. You can't see this because we're doing a screen capture. There's another video out there with digital DJ tips showing how that all works with the F1 controller. <clears throat> so my F1 currently is just set for deck A. And apparently the uh, your pads work like a VU meter to uh, indicate what's going on per stem, right? Use your up faders to adjust it, obviously. Um, the mute buttons at the bottom are the stop buttons. Well, I guess they're more the mute button than they are a stop button. I don't think it relaunches it from the beginning or anything. And... Um, yeah, if you ever use an F1, it's pretty similar. Shift and the effects button. Um, you know, like when you hold shift, you look at your whole row of effects. You can turn your effects on for whatever channel that you want to have your effects on for. Your filters work the same. And we are just about done here. So this ready. Grab, yank it up there, and just hit play like you normally would. Play didn't seem to start that initially. I just reset my controller, that's probably why. So, let me get some sound going here. So I did just turn down the volume on the first one. This is pretty cool.
speeder effect. Single. Get a delay going in here. A little bit of filter. Yeah, this is definitely a future mix for sure. I have two F1s, so we'll see how this all works out here. Just end this before I get too carried away here. It works. That's all I can say. Works on the F1 is great. Um, it works so well on the F1 s. In fact, I don't know why you would uh, upgrade your system just for that purpose. You know what I mean? If you're going to go buy one of these things, screens are great, but I mean, like it works really well with the F1 s. Anyways, I got to end this. And I'm going to make a proper video where I have the camera jacked in and uh, get this thing going. Anyways, that's it. Like I said, don't forget to delete that damn file. Go in there, open up your finder, go into your uh, documents folder, go into your native instruments folder, and see that? You want to just delete it. Delete it and empty your trash. That's it. Talk to you guys soon.